Hi all, in this video, I am going to cover how we can create our Spring Boot project using command line interface CLI tool. I have covered earlier video how many ways we can develop our Spring Boot application. You can go through that. And in this video, I am going to cover how we can create our Spring Boot project using command line interface. So let's go ahead. So, first of all, we need to go to this website official website of Spring Boot and we need to download this CLI distribution file from this repository. The first one I am going to hit. It will be a zip file. So it will download. Let's download it. I will provide the download link in the description section. You can just grab it. So I have already downloaded it uh, within the download folder. So let's me go there. I have already downloaded it earlier. So, so you need to extract that folder in your any directory. So let me go to that one. You need to just copy this and you can just extract it wherever you wanted to extract. So I am going to extract it within this e spring CLI folder. So let me paste it here. So this is the zip file I need to extract over here. So I am extracting it. So this is extracted. So this is the structure we are getting after the extracting this CLI version. So uh, we need to configure our CLI tool. The downloaded folder, if you are seeing the downloaded folder within this uh, bin folder, you are able to see two files, spring and spring.bat file. So Spring is nothing but this is for Mac OS or Linux OS and this batch file is Spring.bat file is that is nothing but batch file is for our Windows operating system. So now I need to set the path of this location that means this bin directory. As you are normally doing through this environment variable how we are setting the environment variable in the same way you can do it. But let me go ahead and do this with command prompt. So this is the command prompt I have opened in the admin mode. So you can also do that. And I need to set the path. Set path is equal to the location of the file. Means bin directory basically. E colon spring CLI slash the name of the directory spring okay one second let me do in this way not taking this uh, directly let me remove it here from here i will paste this name only and let me delete this folder so i have extracted in this uh, folder only there is nothing difference, but I am just removing the name and making it sort and name. So now I need to pass the uh, location so spring CLI hyphen uh, slash spring hyphen 2.1.8 dot release the name of the file, name of the folder basically, and then slash bin semicolon and the path percent path this way so it set the path basically so how can we check whether the path has been successfully set or not you can just open the cmd and you can just verify using the spring hyphen version so if you are doing the same and you are able to see this your cli tool version spring cli version 21.8 release that means it has been successfully set the path or otherwise in, in the manual process you can do from the environment variable setting just like we are just setting the java path in the same way we can set this path as well so let's me go ahead and i'm working from this location only because there is the, uh, some conflict in my laptop so you can just uh, go with you and uh, then further i need to create one uh, groovy file basically uh, what is the process for this uh, 
uh, if you want to set uh, like here i have provided one version spring version and if you want to see the more command what is that there is there is more command you can just hit spring so it will list out all the possible command how can we do the details like spring help command is there for the help and uh, run command is there to run a script groovy script basically the cli version will be working on the groovy script only and grab download script jar to generate a jar file var to generate a var file install to install any dependency on this library extensive ext folder uninstall to install in this any dependency directory like there is the lots of command is there so let me create one groovy file to test our application basically so i am creating this groovy file in the same location in the bin folder you can create anywhere for your convenience so let me create one new text file this is just the text file but the extension will be groovy so i am taking that app dot groovy so let me open that file in the notepad i will in the any ed editor you can choose so for me i am just writing one class with the controller and all so at the right controller class basically app and i am going to create one method which return the just the message string app this is my method and this method is just returning simple a string hello world or hello spring cli just the one message fine and then i need to make it as the at the request one body to bound the request mapping for this common url what the url we are going to hit with this to achieve this one and at the rate response body so this will be the our response body once we are hitting this url this will be the response body okay so let it be save this file so this file is a dot groovy file now what we need to do is we need to run this spring boot project basically so uh, let me describe the things whatever i have written in this notepad so at the rate controller this is nothing but it indicates that the class is a controller class and request mapping is the that like it is the uh, annotation maps to the HTTP request to handle the method of the controller class and response body is just it is the annotation which binds the method returning the value to the web as the response body whatever the body we are just returning it will be bounded on that body now the next thing is we need to run this project so to run this project what we will know is uh, spring run command is here by providing your if you see your help details there is the run command run option files the file which you want to run here as the groovy script so spring run what is the project name our app dot groovy so let me run this project so what it will do is oh it is saying that app dot groovy is not on okay one second so let me open new cmd prompt there is no way uh, let me make it some smaller window so let me check whether the spring version is coming or not spring iphone version so fine we are getting our uh, things then i need to run this uh, spring run an app dot groovy project so what it will do is it will uh it will uh, check for this releases and what is it is saying that response if if there is any error in your file so it will point it to that if you see i have just made an one mistake if you are able to see response body i have not correctly typed that one so basically if you are having any error in this file so you will most probably get there 
so let me uh, run that once again and then this time it will not give any error so if you are able to see there is the lots of dependency it is resolving so it is a resolving dependency and our spring boot project is up and running similar way just like uh, we are running our application through Eclipse IDE in the similar fashion, it has ran. If you are able to see Spring Boot version 218, it is coming Spring with the Spring banner. And then at the here, uh, let me show you which port this application is running. So Tomcat started on port 8080 with the context path and null. Means there is no any context path we have set. But uh, this is the our port for the Tomcat. So let me open this uh, Chrome prompt. Uh, any any windows we can open, like any browser, command prompt or anyone. And what I need to do is uh, actually it is running on 8080 local host 8080 slash because we have taken our project uh, mapping request as and slash request mapping so that means if you are able to see it is printing our text messages hello spring cli that's what we have written into our project fine yeah yep thank you this is what we wanted to show you today yep thank you for your time thanks please subscribe and like my videos thank you